How's everybody? Um, appreciate y'all being here again. Big big win for us Saturday night. I'm uh, very excited about where we are. I think it uh, put us right back in the driver's seat where we needed to be. And uh, that was a really good game. Two good teams. Uh, Could have gone either way. And uh, kind of a heavyweight fight. You saw a little bit of everything in that game. You know, you saw turnovers. You saw um, fumble punt. You saw a kick return. You saw interception that got turned back over. I mean, you just saw a lot of good plays being made on both sides of the ball. So we've got to play better. we got to get better this week. And uh, that's what our focus is going to be. Once again, it's about us. And um, it'll continue to be that way. We've got to continue to improve. But uh, I was real proud of our guys. I was real proud of our defense. thought they made some key stops and um, forced some turnovers. And um, I was proud of our running game again. So I'll answer anything. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I mean, um, you know, I felt like, um, you know, obviously uh, we got the turnover on their first drive and uh, that was big. And then we created a couple more and then uh, felt like we got going there <clears throat> offensively at the end of the, the half and we're able to get up 17, which I thought was big uh, to get three scores up. But uh, our defense just played well all night. I mean, they flew the ball, two fourth down stops. I think we created three turnovers. I, I don't know. I don't remember. I think it's three. But uh, we created four. Okay. Whatever it was, it was they were big, and we needed every one of them. But uh, it was a total team effort from start to finish, and uh, our defense just continues to get playing better and better, and uh, we're starting to run the ball a little better, which is good this time of year. Looking at the uh, what North Alabama did rushing the football, only, uh, only 54 yards. Just, mm -hmm. just talk about just – how, how how just what kind of a feat that is for the defense to, to stop a team like that on the ground? It was. It was. Um, it, I think that was the difference in the game. Um, was that we were able to, to slow their run game down, and, and uh, at times when we needed to run it, we were able to. So I think that was the difference in the ball game. Uh, it's probably the first game. That's probably the first game since I've been here. We haven't thrown a touchdown pass. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, we did not throw a touchdown pass on uh, on Saturday, and <clears throat> we ran some in. So uh, you know, man, we've been we used we used to throw one or two touchdowns a game, and didn't happen. And uh, our run game was big, but uh, you know, our defense just continues to impress me and, and impress everybody else with the way they're playing and just playing well, running the ball, very physical again. I, I was proud of them. Looking at each team in the conference, I mean, just just looking at. The statistics of each team, every team is capable of putting up points. Just, just talk about the, the challenges each, each team kind of kind of provides for, for a defense. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's that's college football today. You got to be able to score points, and uh, I think that um, obviously each team does it in their own unique way. Uh, but uh, it's uh, that's playing college football nowadays. Everybody can score, and you got to adjust to who you're playing to stop them. Uh, coach, this linebacker unit I tweeted out the other day, 18 tackles yesterday, created three turnovers, produced three tackles for loss and a sack. What have you seen out of that group this year? The, the, what you say? I'm sorry. The, the, the linebacker line group. <clears throat> I just see them flying around, um, you know. Um, I think that's the mentality of our whole defense. They want to make plays in the backfield. I think our defensive line has done a really good job. We've made some adjustments, <laughs> putting a third down package in there that gives people some, some headaches too. And uh, putting pressure on the quarterbacks where it all starts, but um, I think we've got experience in that linebacking core. You know, Rory Allen uh, has played a lot of football here. Uh, you've got uh, Wilson Curtis; it's been his first year to play. I think he's had a really good year, and he only keeps getting better. And then you got your, you know, you got guys like Artavius Morgan, Landry Tulo, keeps showing up. Uh, we got some young guys there. Ronnie Smith's getting some playing time. It's going to be a great player for us as well. And I'm sure I'm going to leave some guys out, but I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the, you know the strong safeties. Rovers, uh, I'm just proud of that whole unit. I mean, they just played very, very hard. Uh, whoever's in there just seems to make plays. So it, it's, it's been good. Hopefully we can keep that going. It seems like in November you kind of, not necessarily changing your identity, but it seems like you guys are more meat potatoes now in the run game and the defense is kind of paving the way. What does that say to you that you're, you're, I mean, your attack is multidimensional right now? I think it's what you got to be. I mean, we talk about winning um, winning championships, and in order to do that at our level, you got to win a lot of games. Well, you you got to be able to, to switch and go with the flow. And, and some nights you're not going to be throwing it as well, and some nights you're not going to be running as well. So you've got to be able to, to be uh, multidimensional, 
you know, uh, with your offense. And you just got to be able to wait to, to, to find ways to score points. At the end of the day, you got to score points and keep people from scoring. I know that sounds simple, but that's the name of the game. And uh, that's what we try to do each week. Offensively, how well do you feel the guys have done it just for the most part taking what the defense has given them? I think we've done a pretty good job of it. I mean, we we got to cut out the interceptions and the turnovers. I mean, we we've, we've uh, we got to catch balls. You know, we had too many drops the other night, but uh, I think we've done a really good job. Coach Williams always seems to find uh, plays that that work. And man, we've done a done a pretty good job of that all year. I don't know what our couldn't even tell you what we're averaging a game or anything like that. Because all I, <clears throat> all that matters here is you just keep winning, you just win in advance and play again and win in advance. We've been in playoff mode now for two weeks. That's what people don't understand. Our backs were against the wall two weeks ago. We had to win. Had to win again on Saturday. we got to continue to win. And if we continue to win, we get to keep playing. And that's what we're trying to do. So I don't really get caught up in it. It's just a game-by-game game thing now. Let's just get it going. With the win on Saturday, how big of beating the third-ranked team in the country in Division Two? how big of a win has that been for this program, for you since you've been here? Oh, it's, yeah, probably the biggest since I've been here. Um, you know, we've been ranked opponents, but we hadn't beat a – I don't think we've beaten a top five since we've been here, so that was that was huge. Um, but more importantly, they were number one in the region, and we were number three. So uh, when those regional polls come out, and that's why that's all that matters at this time of year is it's 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 where you in the region because those are the guys that get to keep playing in late November and December. And that's what we're trying to do. Even though uh, Concordia is a, a non-conference game, how important is it for the guys to just continue to to stay in that mode? Because I think it's very important. I mean, you, you, you want to play your best football this time of the year, November. You want to be peaking late October and November, and we got to continue to play well. But uh, we've also got to be smart. We've got to be healthy. We, this is still, I mean, we could – still a marathon from here on out. I mean, we're not in a two-game series. I mean, we've we got to win these next two, hopefully, and then we get ready for another part of our season. And that's, that's what we all wanted to do at the start of the year. So you got to keep that in mind, you know, that might be, a, might be playing some more. So uh, – you got to make sure we're fresh and we're not tired once that part of it gets here. What are sort of your expectations out of you guys going into this game? To win, um, to execute, um, to not uh, not look past them, not lose focus. Um, I, I want to execute. You know, I mean, if we execute on each play, I think we'll have a chance to win the game, and that's that's what we're trying to do. I mean, we, we're coming to the game to win the game, and that's always your goal, but. It, the execution is what gets you there. So we we got to try to stay sharp this week and do those things. As far as the Concordia, from what you've uh, seen of them or, or heard of them this year, what are some of the things that they do? I have not watched them yet. I will start that this afternoon. Uh, I know their record, um, and right now that's about it. And to be honest with you, we haven't we haven't even started into that. we still we're still trying to correct on our things from North Alabama. So I couldn't answer that this time. Coach, how confident are you with that run game? I know you guys drained out that clock at the end of the game. Um, it seems like your confidence in them is at an all-time high. Is that, is that a true statement? Yeah, I think we've got – I think, yeah, I'm very confident in our run game. Our run game the last two weeks. And, and, and to North Alabama's credit, I mean, they, they created 30 yards of lost yardage plays. And that was huge because if we could have cut that down, we, we could have ran for, for more yardage. But to run for run for 169 yards against that defense, that's, that's a heck of an accomplishment. You know, and we had – I think 205 the week before against West Alabama. So um, we're starting to starting to get it going. You know, DeWan coming back, that helped us. Uh, he gives us another dimension out of the backfield. He got to play Saturday night. And I think he scored twice. So that was big. Um, might have been three times. I can't remember. But uh, I think he scored twice. But anyway, um, that was big for us. Thank you all for coming. Uh, really, it's just – uh, awareness of that, you know, it's coming to an end. It's our senior year. It's our last year. We've been uh, playing college football for four years, and, you know, we're in a good position to uh, go a long way. And uh, it's just just a remembrance of what, what Delta State's done for us and what we're going to give back to them on senior day, get that win. Over, overall, just talk about the from, – from your perspective, the way you, you feel the, the team is, is playing right now, especially since the West Georgia game. I think we're all, we're all clicking on all cylinders, to be honest. Um, everybody's rolling and doing well, and um, we've become more balanced with the run game and the pass game, which helps us a lot. And the defense is playing better than I've ever seen them play. And um, that's what we've got to do from here on out. Since your time here, the win this past Saturday, you said that's the biggest win. 
State? Yeah, I mean, last year was my first year, but since since being at Delta State, that was definitely our biggest win. Just the top five coming in uh, to our place, and that was just a huge win to, to be able to defeat a team of that caliber. How about the guys' confidence coming off of that win? Um, I would say the team's pretty confident offensively and defensively. Um, we shut their shut their offense down for the most part, and uh, offense we ran the ball real well, and we just look forward to keep that confidence throughout these next two games and get to the playoffs. Michael, I talked to the running backs on Saturday, and they talked about how when they get in the goal line, they like to run the ball, but they said the offensive line likes to run the ball a lot more. Is that a mentality you guys have keeping that goal line? What's oh the yeah, no doubt. There? When we when we get in the, inside the ten yard line, we're ready for the power count or anything that we can pound the rock in. You know, the, our mentality has really changed when we get inside that 10 because you got to step up. The defense is going to come off low, come up harder, try to defend that goal line. We're going to try to impede it. Now, as far as just guys uh, up front blocking, like the running backs and the quarterbacks, just kind of how, how do you all view them? Do you all kind of view yourselves as like the, the, the Secret Service guard and the president or in, anything like that? Uh, kind of. We mess with them because, I mean, it's always the bats that get their names in the papers and stuff, so we kind of mess with them a little bit about doing the dirty work down there. But our running backs do a good job of giving us credit. I feel like they appreciate us. Michael, what is it like to kind of have that transition from maybe being pass-heavy one week to being run-heavy the next week? What, what's kind of, kind of your thought process through the weeks that maybe the game plan's going to change drastically? Um, we, that's one thing Coach Williams does well with us is – from the beginning of the uh, training for that for that week, he practices how we're going to play. Like if we're going to do more pass heavy, we're going to practice more pass. If we're going to be more run heavy, we're going to practice more runs. Like this past week, we practiced on being real balanced. So we were 50-50 runs pass. But Coach Williams does a good job of preparing us for what we're going to do that week. Does that make you guys feel a little bit more comfortable in kind of your roles and whatever is gonna, whatever's going to happen that you know you've kind of been there before? Yeah, I think we're all we're, we all feel real good about what we do offensively and um, especially as an offensive line, we feel we feel real confident in pass blocking and run blocking. And we know we got wide receivers and a good quarterback that can take care of the passing game. We got good running backs that's gonna run the rock. Matt said on the radio the other night, you know, and I know Coach would never you know, talk about the progress that, that he's made, but as as a member of this team, just talk about the turnaround. I, were you here two years ago when it was I was, last year's my first year. Just talk about it, even in that year, how much progress has been made with this program. I mean, that was a banner win the other night, I thought. Yeah, um, we definitely, we definitely, there's a big difference from last year to this year. Um, I think one of those big difference, differences is the defense is playing exceptional this year. And um, we just got more playmakers on the offensive, offensive side of the ball. And um, we're all clicking right now. We're gelled together. And we're ready. We feel like we can take on anyone at any time. What about Coach? What, what, talk about the turnaround that, that you've seen with him. I mean, the, Coach Cooley? Yep, yeah. I mean, Coach Cooley, he's just, he's kind of just put more trust in us. You know, last last year I feel like as his, was his first uh, year as a head coach, and um, he learned a lot from, from us and about himself that first year, and he's just corrected on some mistakes and just put more trust on us and just let us do our thing more of just putting pressure on us before games, and I feel like that's helped a lot. That locker room. I saw a video on YouTube, man. It was crazy. You guys were – I mean, I don't want to say that was a relief to get through that game, but it, but now with the next three yeah. and you're at home, uh, well, talk about that locker room again. I mean, every every win, especially in this conference, is just something to celebrate because wins are, are hard to come by. And every after every win, we get in the locker room, and Coach Cooley's pumped, the players are pumped, everybody, we just get around and dance and celebrate. And just about every, every win is a fun time. Who's the best answer? I think a lot of people unanimously would say Ryan Self. He's got a, he's got himself a little dance. He does. I don't get real big into it. I'm kind of a, a non-dancer, as you can tell, probably off as a lineman. But yeah, Self's pretty good. Who's the worst dancer? Probably Ladarian Robinson. <laughs> Who's the kid? Who's the little kid? Dude? That's uh, Landry Tulo's little brother. And I, he, uh, I think he kind of shocked most of the team because he came in there and was probably one of the top three we've had all season. That was pretty impressive.
kind of dancer is Roy Allen? Roy Allen is uh, not much of a dancer. I think he tries to avoid that that part of the game like me. Which coach has the best dance moves? Probably Coach Bryant. Coach Bryant's pretty creative. He does some pretty good dance moves. Thanks, Michael. We also have senior Rory. I mean, we knew we had a tough task with uh, with their running backs and uh, and their their quarterback being a, a dual threat. And uh, we just came out there and did what we had to do. We want to stop stop the run and uh, and get them get them into passing situations and especially get up a few scores and and make them to where they they really couldn't run the ball and had to pass the ball and and we did a good job of that. Looking at the uh, Gulf South Conference and the teams in it, it's got a lot of teams that can score points, probably more than most of the conferences in a Division Two. Just talk about the challenge to go up against these type of offenses every week. Oh, I mean, it's 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 tough. You know, we we like to think that the GSC is kind of like the the SEC of you know Division Two football. So every week's a challenge, no matter no matter if you're playing shorter or if you're playing North Alabama or, or Valdosta. Everybody can score points. You know. We we got the best athletes in Division Two football playing in the GSC, so every week's tough. Anytime you can come out with the, with a win, it's, it's great. It seems like each week you guys are just improving and improving on defense. Sort of talk about what you've noticed even from last week that you guys have improved on. Um, I guess just you know everybody trying not trying to do too much, you know, just doing just doing their specific job and understanding their role and. Not trying to make that that big play every time, just just sticking to their they're doing their job. Each individual person. Roy, it seems like this defensive unit's kind of gelling. Everybody kind of knows their role, like you're talking about. What kind of confidence do you have in the guys around you in this defense right now? Oh, I got all the confidence in the world in our guys. You know, especially after the the two big uh, fourth down stops. And uh, like I said in the interview the other day, we're just trying to get our offense the ball back because we know they can score points. And, and it's, it's, it's a great thing we can, you know, create turnovers and, and get them the ball more than they more than they already have it, you know. Specifically, that linebacker group created three turnovers on Saturday. What is it about you guys right now? <sighs> We're just trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what about the strides this program has made? You're a guy that's been here and you've seen it. Highs the lows. Yes, sir. Talk about the other night and what that win – what did it do? It, uh, How big was it? Oh, it was huge. It, uh, my freshman year, we won the GSC and went, went far in the playoffs. And my sophomore year, it was it was sad times at Delta State. And, and last year, we we came back with a, with a nice winning record, seven to three. And then this year, we're, we're kind of back where Delta State's supposed to be, you know. And people people expect Delta State to be at winning the GSC and you know playoff contenders. So it's good to be back where we're supposed to be, you know. What about Coach Cooley? about the work that he's done, the staff. Oh, I mean, Coach Cooley's done a great job. And uh, it's, it's, it's almost like Coach Cooley's made us expect to, to be here, you know? It's, it's not, you know, it's not surprising that we're here. And it's just, uh, it's a great feeling. Coach Cooley's really excited, all the coaches are. That's what I was gonna say, it's, it's not that you guys, you guys believe they, you know, oh yeah. Gonna win every every week. Right? No doubt. We have no doubt in our mind. We're we're supposed to win every week, you know. And I mean, I think if you don't, you're in the wrong business, you know. Rory, this is your senior year. You've been through three different head coaches. Uh, what has that been like for you to kind of go through all that tumultuous times and now to kind of be on top again? Uh, it's I've I've learned a lot from each each coach, you know, and um. It's good to be. It's good to be finally be ending it, you know, in the the right way with the right coaches. And I mean, it's just just truly a blessing that that Coach Cooley came here and we're back on track, you know, playing Delta State football again. And what does it mean to kind of finish out what you started, senior day, and have it all come full circle? Oh, it's great. It's it's, it's great. It'll be uh, it'll be great to tell the kids about one day, you know. Schedule and just to be at this point right now. I mean, what can you say about this team and the way it's battled through this? What is a tough schedule? 
like you said, our, our team's definitely battle tested. But I mean, we knew from you know last year when we we looked at the schedule, it was going to be tough. You know, but I mean, we weren't scared of that. And and sometimes we we kind of like playing away games. You know, it's kind of it's kind of almost easier in a sense because you're in this hotel with, with your whole team, and you don't have all these outside distractions. So <coughs> playing on the road has never really been a big deal for us. But we do love coming home in front of the home crowd and, and locking the gates and. It's, it's going to be nice to get these next two wins and, and finish off the season. Head strong <coughs> going in the playoffs. You got a couple of uh, you got non-conference and then you finish it out. Um, how important is it to just keep the focus? I mean, I, some of the tougher wins are past you now, but you don't want to let up, right? That's right. We can't let up. And, uh, I mean, this next team we played, we, we beat them pretty good this year, last year, but I mean, they're still they're still a college football team, so we're gonna have to come out there and and play hard, and everybody's gonna have to make plays, offensive, defense, and and then homecoming. I mean, that's a that's a huge rivalry, so I mean, they, I know they're gonna be coming up here, you know, trying to knock us off, and I mean, every every week somebody's trying to knock us off, so we're looking forward to it. We're gonna be ready. Rory, you talked about on Saturday that mm -hmm. this, this defense likes to have pressure, on, likes to be in those fourth down situations, likes to be in situations where they're in trouble. When did that mentality kind of start? Oh, that's that's been since since fall camp. I mean, even last year, Coach Anthony's always preaching to us. You know, this is where we, this is what we want. You know, we want the offense. It's not like we want the offense to turn the ball over, but we want to be those guys. You know, Johnny on the spot have to go out there and and stand up and and make a defensive stand and, and get our offensive ball back. Because I mean, it's it's great being being able to do that. And how proud are you of this defense? Now that we see here offense, offense so much about Delta State, but now. Talking defense here. <laughs> it's nice. I mean, we've got this high-powered offense. These these great quarterbacks, running backs, and receivers. It's nice to to have some recognition on the defense side of the ball. Who's who's is Gibbs a good dancer, bad dancer? <laughs> Gibbs could dance. Gibbs could dance. <laughs> We all could dance. I liked. I liked. It. I didn't. Uh, I didn't like the comment that Gibbs made. This he said I couldn't dance. I like to think I'm a pretty good dancer. I mean, dancing is all about confidence, and I do not lack confidence. So I like to think I could dance. I mean, we do have fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's the best uh, dancing coach? Uh, I'd have. To, I'd have to say Coach Bryant. Coach Bryant. Coach Cooley can bust a move here and there. He's got a little rhythm too. You know, <laughs> like I said, it's all about confidence. So Coach Cooley has confidence. You ever seen a locker room like that? I mean, I know you guys have had some big wins. And uh, never, never before. Even even when Coach Roberts was here and we were winning all those games, I mean, we haven't we haven't had gone that crazy and had a, a dance off in the locker room after a game. But it's real. It's 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 going it's good because I mean we'll remember that for the rest of our lives, you know. So it's been fun. Can Landry dance like his brother? <laughs> I don't think so. That was that was awesome. His little brother was in there, you know, because his little brother's been through a lot. I mean, he's had he's had cancer, you know, and he he's beat cancer, so it was it was awesome that his little brother was in there and got to share that experience with us, you know. Any other questions? All right, we'll kick off a shift.